Hello, Lucrezia and Matteo. Welcome to our little video interview and thank you for joining us today. Hello, thank everybody. You. Hi. Thank you. So we are uh, with Gigi, eh? It's yeah. Gigi. Matteo, Gigi and Lucrezia, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Just to know, eh? <laughs> Gigi ah. also wanted to join today's interview. I think he's falling down <laughs> soon. And you can hey, he's, he has jet lag, you know, he's falling asleep. <laughs> it's because um, you have a CATS program, but we will talk about this a little later. First, um, it's very um, interesting. You are still a new team. It's your second season together, but uh, you are a very special team because um, Matteo has such long experience, such a long career, m several Olympic games with his former partner, and Lucrezia is very new to pair skating. So, my first question is, Matteo, when Nicole decided to retire, what motivated you to go on and find a new partner and start from zero? You know, I was uh, always saying, even the last interview with Nicole, it's uh, because I like the, this lifestyle. I like the way I'm putting myself every time in a proof and uh, I like to train. I like this sport. And uh, when it's like in the healthy way that uh, you really love your, yourself, you love your team, you love uh, your coaches, I think is the best way to live the life, even if you are a little bit older. But uh, I will say, if you treat well your body, uh, especially like that's that's the key, because uh, if you treat well your body, your body it's going. Sometimes it's not easier like it used to be, but uh, really the the thing to put myself in front of uh, like a big mountains and think and do it, it's uh, a lot for me. And Lucrezia, you were a single skater. Did, how was it then when the idea came to do pair skating? What, did Matteo invite you or how did it happen for you? Um, I did the pairs when I was young. Uh, I did first ice dance for eight years. And, uh, and then I tried pair skating, but um, I had an accident. So I decided to do single skating for like six years and then I decided to try again the pair skating and um, I always like it pair skating because you can I think that you can share a lot of things with other people for example um, emotions um, on the ice and also off ice and um, you have another person that can help you in the difficult moments and uh, also you can enjoy when something cool happens and uh, I think that's the reason why I like pair skating. Because you also did, you said you did dance but pairs were still more exciting for you? Because in dance you also have a partner to share something. Yeah, yeah, for me it's the same. In fact, I think that after pair skating, um, I want to try also ice dance again. Oh. <laughs> you see? Yeah. Full of surprise. Yeah, maybe with Matteo. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, so, so, this time I, I, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> this will be too much, yeah. Um, you have also progressed very fast as a team. And how does maybe Matteo's experience help you, Lucrezia? In become yeah more confident in pair skating uh, I think that this summer we work hard together uh, because at the end of last season we had uh, a little difficult period between us but uh, we try to uh, go over this this difficult period and um, yeah we work hard on the um, on the ice but also we work hard uh, off ice because now we know each other more than uh, last season. So this is the, the main point. Yeah, yeah. like uh, maybe we had a shortcut because we knew already which way to follow, maybe a little bit experience. And uh, even like uh, with our teammates, like uh, with the coaches, we, we know how to do a little shortcut. So we made the bases to have like strong elements, to have strong skating and together uh, with uh, a lot of work uh, 
with the, like uh, Lucrezia said, with the work together. Because at the end of last season, what Lucrezia was saying, we had uh, different ways of view of the skating. She had some expectation, I had another expectation. So we just sit, we talk, and we decide which way to follow. And we are just like going straight and keep going straight. I think uh, for this season, like we, we have goals, like possible goals to reach the 200 point score in the total, uh, total um, uh, segment. It's possible. We have to do like 70 in the short and 130 in the, in the long. And then when you start to scoring like 200 points, the other people need to do the same. So this is our first goal. And then uh, let's see what's, what can happen. Olympic Games in, in two years, in one year and a half, we did a lot. So. so the obviously Olympic Games in Milan, in Italy, not far from your training town, is a big goal, I guess, for you both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think to, to have a chance to skate yeah. an Olympic game at home. Yeah. It's like incredible. I, I'm only like can touch my dream, you know, in my brain. I, I, I don't know. My best memory was to skate in forum in the World Championship of 2018. So I guess like to skate Olympic games in Milano forum in 2026 will be even like better. Yeah, that's a very great goal. And, uh, we've seen um, so many good teams, uh, pair teams in Italy. How does pair skating develop so well in Italy suddenly? I think that, um, especially in Ice Lab, we are a great group because uh, we support each other and um, it's a good thing for us because um, we saw the other couple all days and this motivated us a lot and I think that's the main reason. The, yeah. But you know, Lucrezia don't know exactly what's, what's happened in Italy because um, uh, there was no pair skating. No pair skating. 2006 Olympic Games, Torino, one spot available for Italy, no pairs. There was no pair skating. And then some people start to do something that looked like pair. Andre came, y uh, Yannick came with uh, Nicole, with Stefania. I skate with Nicole. I skate with Nicole. Andre skate with Valentina, you know? And the, the young generation, they, they got involved on pair skating. We did many seasons and like, we just show to, to Italian kids, to Italian like skater, that pair skating, it's like actually good. So. What's happened now? We have so many teams, like we have 10 teams in Italy. Because I think it was a good example. So we give to, to I, I can say we give to the kids. Because uh, I have a picture with Lucrezia after, maybe she can show you. Yeah. That uh, she was like eight. Yeah. And she came to see a show where I skate with Nicole. Oh. So that's why, you know, it's oh. what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, for Lucrezia, when you uh, this must have been was this your first memory of watching pairs when you came to the show? I don't remember, it, <laughs> but I think that was the the first time that I saw pair skating. Yeah, in, because it was in Turin, so probably yeah. Yeah, oh, so that's so cool. And then yeah. a few years later, you are here and skating. With some kids that will take a picture and maybe yeah. one day it will do then pairs. Somebody else will yeah, join uh, yeah. the pairs. For you, Lucrezia, when you um, switched and to, you said you did pairs before, but then you yeah. went to single skating. But which element is for you like, the most challenging in pairs? Um, I think the that spiral. Yeah. It's strange because um, I did just the inside that spiral when I was young and now I have to learn all the other spiral and for me are so difficult. Yeah, I prefer to do the twist, for example, the throws and uh, yeah, the twist is my f uh, favorite element. Favorite element? Yeah. <laughs> Now you have for this season two new programs and uh, what can you tell us about them? 
So, uh, we actually had a talk with some judges and uh, some people like from our federation because we have two different programs, like completely different programs. I will say the short program is like a classical program of figure skating, that everybody skating, it's like a clean, elegant, nice music to hear, good costume and good transition. Long program, it's different. <laughs> Gigi can tell. <laughs> it's something that is a little bit unusual for space, for pay skating, especially on the last years, because everybody's uh, after Chinese, I think after Sui Han, everybody's taking like this uh, contemporary music, like classic music. So we want to break a little bit the the flu, the flow, and to, we try to do something different. We actually enjoy yeah. skating this program because it's something unusual, and we we actually have to move differently. And uh, I, uh, maybe we need much work to do maybe it's like uh, it will be like this all the whole season but for sure it bring us a lot of experience so we can even try something completely different for the next season and understand which one is the best uh, style to present in the olympics mm -hmm. yeah well, it's, uh, it's really fun and enjoyable to watch your, your programs what are your goals for this season your second season as a team uh, now we are waiting for probably for the second Grand Prix so um, if we do the second Grand Prix we hope to do the the final this is one of the goal and uh, like Matteo said before um, of course the the score uh, we want to do 200 points and uh, yeah yeah, I think um, we said last day, even in the press conference, we don't need to focus so much in like ranking goals because uh, uh, I believe there is many good skaters. So if we start to focus in on our score, on our element, this competition we want to try to put double axel on the combo after the toe, but I decided to sit on the ice, <laughs> so we didn't. And um, if we can... Um, put like a technical score a little bit higher I think the component score will follow and uh, our plan it will be able to to be reached yeah but I think it's uh, really it's amazing what you've put together and how you have developed and grown and also especially as uh, Matteo looks so fresh and <laughs> rejuvenated <laughs> It's uh, also my wife, <laughs> I want to add. she cooks for me every day, you know, I'm on the couch, just a cocktail and like good food, no, it's a, it's a joke. We are, we are working and uh, uh, I think we have a good plan and like I said before, lifestyle changed for me because I decided to take this big step and to take this big step you have to, to change a little bit your life, your way of watching stuff and uh, I, I am not putting limits on myself anymore. Like before I was a little bit conservative sometimes and I was maybe uh, better to do this than that because maybe, you know, all these kind of things, I, I just try to put it out and just go straight to my way. How do you get along with these other? Because, yeah, it's a uh, uh, we we different background, different career so far. Okay. Sorry, yeah, then? how do you get along? Is What's, it, uh, what is it? Do you get along how um, your relationship as um, friends or... Uh, Me and Lucrezia? Yeah. Uh, actually, like, um, is uh, the point, uh, it was difficult last mm -hmm. season, you know? Because we have uh, 15, 16 years different. And uh, she see the thing in a different way. Of like, I see the things. So the, the point is like to open my mind and to open her mind and try to see different ways the things. Like I said before, don't put limit, you know? I, I, to go from here to, to go there, it's not only this way, but it can be this way. You know, if you try to be flexible, I think we can get matched together. Sometimes for her, it will be difficult to understand like the way I'm thinking, the way I'm talking. 
And for me, sometimes it would be difficult to understand the way she's thinking and she's talking. But uh, only with respect, you know, and admiration of uh, like the hard work and uh, everything, it, we, we can just like be like a strong team, like very strong team, even if with a difference of age. Yeah, but I think uh, Lucrezia, even so you are much younger and have less experience, but you seem to have uh, like a confident personality yeah. and you know what you want. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. What you want. So you don't... <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, of course, then you can say, okay, Matteo says something, but I have another idea and uh, you... No, no, I agree with Matteo, yeah. Always, but if you don't agree, you can, you, you can state your point. No, no. <laughs> He's right. He's yeah. Right. No, I is not. I'm right to say like we have to respect the yeah. point of view. Yeah. Yeah. Because like we have two different points of yeah, view. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you, Lucrezia, you also have your point of view, and you are not afraid of saying, "Oh, this is my opinion," right? Yeah. No, I think that um, sometimes for me it's difficult to um, understand. Uh, especially um, the way like Matteo said something because he's so uh, like sharp yes sometimes I'm just like yes straight <laughs> just go to the point but uh, and I have uh, another point of view so it's difficult for me but I'm trying to open my mind and try to understand Matteo. Yeah. Now let's just uh, have a fun question. Um, Lucrezia, when Matteo is sent to an isolated island, he can take three things. What does he take? Matteo. Se io andassi su un'isola da solo, no, no, okay. po- con tre cose, cosa potrei prendere? Cioè, tu vai all'isola e ti porti dietro tre sì, cose? Sì, tre cose che, pos- yeah. che po- mi porto. Ah, water, the bottle of water. Um. Oddio. <laughs> um. Only water. No food, no nothing, <laughs> only water. Cioè, hai sempre dietro la borraccia. Se ti porti sempre dietro. Ok, maybe Matteo. What? Just water. Yeah, just water. It's enough. For me, with water, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Non so. What does Lucrezia take? For sure, she will bring some, like, fancy clothes. <laughs> I will say, maybe, like bag probably <laughs> and then uh, she will take uh, the um, tablet like uh-huh. to watch like all the stuff she has tablet computer yeah and headphones and headphones headphones yeah correct yeah That's right yeah yeah so he knows you well <laughs> a little bit of food please no 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 food <laughs> i was with uh, only with water uh, like you with the tablet it's uh, fine Yeah, good. So we hope that you will have a great season ahead and wish you the best of luck. Uh, Thank you. you, Tatiana. Fingers crossed and uh, yes, then see you hopefully soon at another competition. Thank Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye.